All right, y'all. Out of these three animes, the big three, Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece, which anime has the best antagonist? Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. I already got the first one out the way, all right? Now, everything I say, obviously, is opinion, all right? It's my opinion, okay? So don't come in the comments and get butt hurt. Just, let, just hear me out first. Off rip, I'm getting Bleach out of here. I'm sorry. Out of Aizen, Okiota, my nigga, my nigga, uh, Grimjow, and I don't even know much, we don't even know much about your watch, just some manga shit, okay, I'm gonna be real with you, I don't read the manga, so I don't really know about three on the Bleach list, it's Aizen, Grimjow, and Okiota, okay, and I'm gonna be real with y'all, I don't think their childhood or backstory hits as these Naruto and One Piece characters, don't get me wrong, Aizen is a badass, Okiota, Grimjow, your watch, these are all badass characters, what we talking about, Backstory and plot, like antagonist, bro. I'm sorry, Naruto and One Piece got it, but we're gonna go keep going. Though. Now these last two is pretty difficult, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay, we have Naruto and One Piece. All right, these two animes is neck and neck when it comes to antagonist, but we have to pick one. Now I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm picking, I'm picking Naruto as the winner of best antagonist. Now hear me out. See, if we're talking about straight backstory, I might have would have gave it to One Piece. I'm talking about every straw hat. I'm talking about law. I'm talking about every, like, we talking about, like, story, like, plot. Like, overall, everybody, we're talking about antagonists, though. We're talking about straight antagonists. And I'm not going to lie, Naruto got the edge on that. But we're talking about overall, I'm giving it to One Piece, if that makes sense. Listen, One Piece, Doflamingo. Yo, they did my nigga dirty, all right? They was throwing shit at this boy, him and his family. Like, they was doing my nigga dirty. Oh, <laughs> what's, what's his name? Uh, damn it, Mr. Long. Oh, uh, hold on. What's the donut man name? I don't know how to think my nigga Katakuri, bro. Oh, my God. It's been that long, y'all. Like, we've been in this Wano shit for so long. But Katakuri had a cool backstory, too, but he donut, mutu, mutu, all that shit. Blackbeard, I don't think we really got a backstory on Blackbeard. Kaido, we didn't really get a backstory on him either, but I think we are, like, coming up. But, are we, if we're talking about Nar, you're talking about Obito, Madara, Pain, Itachi, come on, backstory, y'all? Antagonist wise, come on! My nigga Itachi literally had to kill his whole clan just for his brother. His whole fucking clan just for his brother. Obito, Obito wanted to, bro, bro, can we really go into depth with Obito? My nigga wanted to be Hokage. He just like me for real. Obito wanted to be just like Naruto, bro. And he got hold. Not only that, Madara took him under his wing for him to carry his eyes just in the end to betray this nigga. And y'all, y'all didn't notice my favorite antagonist from Naruto is Pain. Okay, you even got to talk about this. Is not even the real Pain. This is uh uh this, Nagato controlling my nigga, bro. I forgot his real name. I think it's already F. Fushikata, Fujio, I forgot my nigga real name. But Nagato is literally controlling his homeboy's dead bodies, bro. Like, this shit. <sighs> bro, my, uh, my, and Madara, this fucking asshole, him beefing with Hashi, bro. Don't get me started. Naruto wins. I'm sorry.